So if you've got somebody really important to eat, go ahead and take care of that now. And DVR us, come back and watch a little later. We've got some great guests coming on, but uh, before I get into anything about the show, I just want you all to know uh, a little, something a little disconcerting this morning. So I walk in, one of our producers was missing. So I look around, I talk, talk to one of my writers, I say, hey buddy, uh, where's Doug at? He said, you didn't hear? I started to get worried. I was like, no, no, I didn't hear. He said, it happened this weekend. Now, all Doug can do is walk around, eyes glazed over, staring, eating. That's it. That's all he does, man. I was shocked. I had no idea that Doug was getting married. <laughs> oh! Yeah. yeah, that guy is what I'm talking about. That's right. That's right. But uh, moving on to the news, the news, uh, I don't know if you all saw, but the gas station attendant zombie that got in the car wreck, yeah, two cars, both directions, limbs went flying everywhere. It was scary, really crazy. Yeah, no good. Gas literally costs an arm and a leg now. <laughs> an arm and a leg. That is right. All right. Moving on to other news, though. Other news. Uh, I know that the I know that the government is deciding to send uh, some some police uh, forces over the border to take care of some rogue zombies that are causing some problems. But uh, everybody they send there seems to get into some trouble. So uh, the new tactics send the Car the Kardashians over there. No brains. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Well, like I said, we've got a pretty decent show here that we're going to take care of you with. Uh, we've, got, um, we've got a great author coming in. We've got a great food segment. Speaking of food, I know that my co-host later, Cindy, loves brains. I don't know if you know that. She loves brains. So when I was talking to her earlier, I was like, hey, Cindy, do you eat your brains with your fingers? She said, no, Nick, no, I don't. I eat my brains and then my fingers later. <laughs> oh! All right. Well, we're, we're going to throw to you the news right now, and I'll see you all in a little bit. Thank you, Nick. I'm Eric Guerra, and today we have a lovely new uh, co-host, Vanessa Zizomito. So, clearly in our entertainment news, we have a certain human was arrested for impersonating a zombie. When oh, taken wow. downtown, oh. when taken downtown, he was discovered that he was oh. clearly brainless, so charges will be dropped. Mm. Vanessa, we heard that you went to the Olympics last week. How was it? Oh. Uh, Brain oh. Well, clearly she's not going to bring anything to the table today, so we're just going to move on and have the weather today. So to, on today's weather, we have a high chance of cloudy. Yeah. A high chance of cloudy that oh. will oh. stay indoors. Oh. Well, clearly, she's meeting stars, people. So just keep in mind that she's a zombie, she has no brains, and she likes eating brains. But yeah, so we're running out of town right now, and hope to see you all next week. Cut! Introducing a brand new love site by the makers of Christian Mingle. We bring you Z Harmony. Hello, I'm the creator of Z Harmony, and to show you lovely folks how great this website is, I'd like to show you this amazing couple paired by Z Harmony. Take a look. Hi, I'm Crystal. I've always had a thing for zombies, so now that the apocalypse has happened, all I have to do is find the one, and Z Harmony let me do that. I joined Z Harmony to find myself a girl with a good brain. But the moment I laid my eyes on her, I still wanted to eat her brain. Don't delay any further. Find out what Z Harmony can do for you. Sign up today at www.zharmony.com. Z Harmony is not responsible for any injuries that may occur on dates or other such encounters. Join at your own risk. Z Harmony, where even zombies can find their perfect match. 
<laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We've got a pretty decent show set up for you right now. All right. So uh, before we get started, Cindy, how's the drive here? Uh, la, la, la. Thunder, bender. Yeah, you know, I, I heard about that. I think that's the fifth accident on 281 this week. They really got to take care of that. Clean that up. Uh, agree. Yeah, definitely. Well, we've got some pretty good uh, uh, guests coming up. Uh, who are you looking forward to seeing? Gilroy Fredrickson. That's right. We've got Gilroy Fredrickson. And he is the author, author of a brand new book, top seller, Reaching Your Potential from A to Zombie. Gilderoy, come on in. Yeah! I want a book! I want a book! Later, later. All right, Gilderoy, how have you been? Man, I've been good. I can't believe you haven't invited me on the show now that I'm a zombie. You know, you I'm know, good. You haven't been here since, since you turned, uh, but I, I have to admit, your writing has gotten impeccably better since then. What's your secret? Uh, my secret, you know, after I turned into a zombie, I just have like a new perspective on life. I know what's important. Amazing. Yeah. How do you do it? How do I do it? No, I eat brains. Uh, a lot of a lot of Asian brains to become smarter. Mm -hmm. A lot of Mexican brains to become funnier. And I just mold it together, and it's like a good brain soup that I use to become intelligent writer. And oh. also, I write for zombies, so they don't really read uh, my books. Ooh, yeah, mm -hmm. pandering to your crowd. I like it. Good balance. So, uh, so Gilderoy, we're going to have a, uh, a cooking segment coming up here in a little bit. Would you, would you mind sticking around for that? Yeah, I wasn't planning on leaving. Like, yeah, I'm, awesome. I'm staying for awesome. sure. Awesome. Great. Well, before we get to that, we've got uh, a little surprise. We've got Vanessa Zombieton from our very own Channel 5 News here. And, and her boyfriend, Kyle, seems to have a little something to tell her. So we're going to go check on them in the green room right now. Nessa, we've known each other for a long time, correct? And I know we all have our own secrets, right? And there's something I gotta tell you. It's too hard to explain, but uh, thank you. I'm not really a zombie. Yeah, I've been keeping this for you for a while, and I'm sorry I didn't tell you the first time we met. So I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to make sure that this can work for us. Wait, what are you doing? Wow, that got intense. Yeah. I thought yeah. my girlfriend was bad, man. Yeah. That's bad. That's, that's, bad. That's, that's tough. A little heartbreak, a little brain eating. We've got a little bit of everything here. Food. Oh, food. That's right. That's right. Our cooking segment. Well, we've got Chef Bubba Brains here with some of the best recipes of the week. We're going to go right to him now. Bubba? Fried brains, grilled brains, sautéed brains, brain stew, sorry stew, brain sandwiches, brain kebabs, brain soup, brain a la mode, that's about it. Oh, that looks like some tasty stuff right there. I'm going to have to put some of those recipes in my Rolodex. Without a doubt. What was your favorite, Cindy? Brains. Brains. Classic. Good choice. Well, moving right along, we're going to jump into our next... Excuse me. I am the Countess, and I have something to say. We need love, too. The vampires. Everybody forgot about us. It's all about zombies now. What is it? Brains. Brains. Blood is better. Does no one remember Twilight or the Vampire Diaries? Excuse Kirsten Stewart, she is, she is not our problem. We only come out in the dark. We can't even enjoy Olive Garden's lunch special. Of course, they have garlic, so we can't really go there, but that's not the point. The whole point is blood, not brains. You see that? Yeah. That's the time. And you vampires, your time is up. I'm glad you brought up Twilight because nobody remembers it because it was terrible. It was like, what, a two-year span for little five-year-olds? It's time for zombies, all right? It was a five-movie, and there was four books. 
Yeah, well, it was for a time when girls were lonely and all they had were vampires. But guess what? The zombies are in town, okay? And they look good. It with was an amazing love story. She could not live without his love. You know she what? was so <sighs> depressed the whole time. Oh, you had Edward with his dandruff and then Jacob like, oh, I'm Jacob. Oh, my shirt's up. Eh, whatever. <laughs> he right. was well, gorgeous. He deserved well, to have Well, this heated daughter. debate has gotten a little over the top. And we appreciate you coming by, Countess, but uh, uh, I believe we're going to have to move on. Maybe no. we can ba have you back sometime. No, no. <sighs> No, until no. I will anchor the show, then you can have me back. Oh, I am, I am frightened. How rude. Okay, well, sorry about that, folks. We're gonna jump right along and, oh, uh, producers are telling me we've got a, we've got a call coming in. All right, Arnold Schwarzenegger. We have Arnold Schwarzenegger on the line, guys. Arnold, how are you doing, buddy? <laughs> oh, uh. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Arnie. I, I had no idea that you had turned into a zombie. Oh, oh, my apologies. I'm sorry, folks. It turns out Arnold hasn't turned into a zombie. That's just the way he talks. Um, really sorry about that, bud. Uh, you know, we look forward to hearing from you again. All right. Okay. Well, uh, that was Arnold. Uh, uh, we're going to go ahead and move on. What, what in the world do we have next? Do we... End of the show. End of the show, that's right. It's about that time, isn't it? Uh, well, uh, you know, I was looking forward to, they said we had a surprise guest coming on uh, later. Do you have any idea who that might be? Zombie. Ricky. Martin. Bingo. We've got Zombie Ricky Martin for you, ladies and gentlemen. Come on out, Ricky. <laughs> couple hasn't settled things yet. Maybe we can uh, work something out, send them on a little vacay together. <laughs> hey, don't you can't run from love, buddy. All right, folks, well, we're going to go ahead and end it here. Be sure to check out Z Harmony, our sponsors, and, and come back and see us tomorrow. Uh, we'll see you later. Goodbye. Goodbye.